Stanton Road. Addy? Just on the way, Zoe. Uh, and what about the notes on Mr. Stanton's heifer? Filing cabinet. Addy, just a minute. You two having another one of your tiffs? Don't look at me. Paddy's got the hump. Uh, don't start, Adam, I'm warning you. Uh, I don't want to see your personal problems interfering with the running of the surgery. Tell him that. What does that mean? I'll be out all day, Zoe. See you later. Well, what did he mean? I've no idea. Adam, have I got this right? Did Paddy stand in for you yesterday? Yeah, that's right. Is this what you two are arguing about? I spent some time with Bev yesterday and asked Paddy to cover for me. It's no big deal. You were with Bev? Well, I think it might be a big deal to Paddy. Well, I'll cover for him and then we'll be evens. Maybe that isn't the issue. I rather got the impression that he liked Bev. So, he was slow off the mark. Tough. Well, a chance to win an amazing new kitchen. Some late Christmas cards, a bill, and no residency approval. I can't stand this. I know. It's like our lives are on hold. I just want to be with you. No problems, no distractions, just us. Surprise! Auntie Barbara. Get her off. <laughs> it's my mate, Joe. This is my aunt, Auntie Barbara. Hello. This is unexpected. Isn't it? Get some clothes on. Just do it. <laughs> well, where's Patrick? It is a work. I'm not sure I can get hold of him. Oh, that's all right. I'll surprise him too. <laughs> I'm sure you will. Oh, I can't wait to see him. Such good news about Mandy. Mandy? Have you met her? Oh, awful girl, awful. I tried to convince Patrick, but he simply wouldn't have it. <laughs> now, of course, he'll be wishing he'd listened to me. <laughs> oh, so... Joe. He's married. He lives here with his wife, Tricia. And Paddy, keeping company since Mandy left. I see. And you? I'm, uh, <clears throat> I'm living with, um, with Marlon. Do you know Marlon Dingle? Dingle? Why on earth are you mixing with them? Well, it's only temporary. You do have complicated lives, you young people. Barbara, is it? Good to meet you. <laughs> Auntie Barbara is just thinking we live complicated lives. Well, whatever gave you that idea. <laughs> <laughs> uh... Last one, Ash. Thank you. I hope some unfortunate animal didn't have to perish to provide you with a cushion. It's entirely artificial, Edna, I assure you. A bit like a smile. I beg your pardon. Well done. So, this is goodbye then. Well, it's more cheerio, really. We're not far away. Bye, my love. Bye, bye. Mm -hmm. I'll Good see luck. you soon. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's a sad day in some ways, isn't it? television these days. What do you mean? Don't you know about him? What? He's of a certain persuasion. Vegetarian? Homosexual. <sighs> what, is he going to make us some lunch? Um, I'll, uh, I'll just see. She's driving me mad. You've got to tell her. I can't. If she gets the faintest idea what's going on, she'll go straight to the Home Office. Oh, she wouldn't. She's your aunt. No, you don't know her. She tried to ruin Paddy's life and she'd do the same to ours if we're not careful. I'm serious, Joe. One wrong move and <coughs> it's over. What are you two conspiring about? We were just wondering where we should go for lunch. Oh, good! I want to hear all about you and Trisha. And I want to hear all about what you've been up to lately, too. Me? Ooh, nothing much. <laughs> you don't get away with that. I want all the details. <laughs> Come on. No Chloe today, so that means extra work. Mm, do you think you can manage without her? We're not going to have another row, are we? No, we're not. 
I uh, have been thinking about what you said yesterday, and I'm going to trust you with Chloe. You are? I mean, good. Of, of course you are. <gasps> <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Am I interrupting? Yes. Last night, my peace was absolutely shattered by the racket coming from down here. Oh, uh, there was stuff going on you couldn't understand, Eric. Laughing, socialising, folk having a good time because, oh yes, it's Christmas and this is a restaurant. <laughs> May I remind you about my position on the council? I am not without influence. Do not <laughs> get on the wrong side of me. You have a right side. <laughs> Where were we? Uh, I can't remember. Oh, Hi. the lip thing. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shane Marlon and, uh, and the, uh, the barber. And, oh, have you met? <laughs> uh, Marlon and Trisha, this is my auntie Barbara, Paddy's mum. And this is Trisha. Uh, that's Joe's wife. I see. Oh, hello, lovely. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I remember you. You're a dingle. Oh, <laughs> guilty. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been married? Only three weeks, but we're very much in love. Oh, very much. <laughs> I don't believe you. Why not? Have you got something to say? Uh, Not really. I find this very distasteful. Oh, can we talk about this reason? Yeah, let's not be hasty. There's something very fishy going on here. Oh, there isn't. No. Then perhaps you two had better explain why you were kissing when I walked in. It's what we do. We, we're very close, all of us. We... <laughs> um, I kiss Marlon and I kiss Jason. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what we do these days, Auntie Barbara. We're all very tactile. <laughs> <laughs> I know what I saw. Oh, you think you do, but actually you don't. Ah. So, can I show you tea table? <laughs> so, over here. Okay. Mm. What do you reckon? I think we got away with it. I, I think you're going to have to come and stay tonight. What? No way. There's no choice. She's suspicious, and anyway, my relationship's on the line. Come, yeah. Paddy, he'll get rid of her. I can't get hold of him. I know this is difficult. Difficult? Listen, you two are in love, aren't you? Really, seriously in love. Yeah. Well, so are me and Joe. I thought I'd never find the man I wanted to spend the rest of my life with, but he's it. Oh. So please, just help us. I'll be there. Thanks. So, you're going to be sleeping with Joe tonight, are you? I'm not going to sleep with him. I'm just going to sleep with him. What? I have to do Marlon. I'm his wife. If that woman works out what's going on, you could go to jail. Well, I'm sorry, Marlon, but I have to help him. Diane? What earth are you doing? I'm moving. Moving where? Into my niece's room. There's a little chest of drawers in there. It won't do. Why won't it do? You're a man. You wouldn't understand. Right, well, you take that then. Oh, <coughs> Diane! Where is it going to go? What? Look. We'll have to get the old one out before we can get that one in. Oh, of course we will. I wasn't thinking straight. Well, you've been preoccupied. I'll admit it's a bit of a blow when your daughter leaves home, even if she's done it before. It's not the easiest of times. Well, at least Bernice's marriage is based on love. When I compare her situation to Trisha's... Oh, Trisha's all right. Her and Marlon seem pretty solid to me. She's very impulsive. Do you think we've grown out of that? Living on the edge, taking risks? <laughs> You're the last person I would accuse of becoming stayed. Oh, I don't know. Sometimes a gentle retirement seems quite attractive. I think you'll find it's when you're young have left the nest. That's when you start to blossom. Right, let's get to work. Like a masterful man. This is rather striking. Don't you like it? No, I... Actually, it's hideous. Oh, well, I suppose it's time I let go of these things. 
Like Mum said, out with the old and in with the new. I wish we had a bit more time off. I know, but I have to go back to work tomorrow. Then we'd better make good use of the time that we have. <laughs> I'll go. Our first visitors, Belize. Oh, lovely. Sorry, excuse me, sorry. Excuse me. Do you mind? Sorry? Blame the owner. He crams the tables together to pack in as many people as he can. Cheap, I call it. Me, Out of the... What do you think you're doing? Trying to go about my business. You're deliberately trying to ruin my ambience. <laughs> Ambience takes more than a candle stuck in a bottle to create ambience. Takes class, something you don't have. Come on, get out of the way. Oh, just ow! Come. On. Rise above it, Marlon. Seem rise above that. <laughs> it's very nice. It's a trivet. So I see. I didn't have time to wrap it properly. What is it? It's a letter opener. Ah, oh, thank you. Nothing like having a knife thrust at my midriff to make me feel welcome. I'm thinking of extending the animal print motif to the light shades. I think it's her idea of a joke, Edna. Isn't it? And the bedroom needs a more sensual feel to it. Sort of an eastern look. Reds and warm pinks. Silk sheets. You can imagine it, can't you? I'd rather not. Sounds very daring. Sounds like a harem. Just the image I had in mind. So if you give me Trisha's key, I can move some of her stuff to ours. I don't like this. Marlon, I haven't got time to argue. Let's just try and make this as convincing as we can. Oh, ready for you, Bill? About time. Oh, excuse me. No, then. Oh, a roadblock. How very mature. Move it. Certainly. You agree not to shift your goods through here at lunch time. I do not respond to tactics like these. No? So what are you going to do about it then? Well, let's see now. Um, oh, I know. I'll charge you for that! Grow up, Marlon. I'm going to win this one, Eric. I'm not giving way! Anyway, we still have a lot of unpacking to do. Well, I've never been known to outstay me welcome. Thank you for the tea, Ashley. My pleasure. Goodbye. Good day, you take that. Bye. Sorry about that. Some people get a company car with their job. I get Gloria and Edna. Yes, well, let's just forget about them, shall we, and finish unpacking? I have a better idea. Let's forget about unpacking, too. <laughs> ah, just who I wanted to see. Uh, I'm just on my way somewhere. Paddy's. Look, don't worry, I've sorted that out. Now, what are you doing for the weekend? Why? I thought we could meet up. It was a one-night stand, a bit of Christmas cheer, that's all. Yeah, well, I know that. <clears throat> but I thought maybe we could make it a two-night stand. I thought I made myself clear before. Obviously not. You lied to me and you lied to Paddy. And I don't waste my time with liars. I met Tricia in a club in Leeds. A bit of a whirlwind romance. Well, I think a whirlwind divorce is on the cards. Oh, I'll go. I expect that's Paddy. Hello. Hiya. Uh, Auntie Barbara, this is, uh, this is Bev. Hi. My girlfriend. Mm. And what do you do, Beverly? I'm a teacher. You don't look like one. Oh, appearances can be deceptive. I'll, um, make some tea. <laughs> How long have you known Jason? Oh, a year now. And where did you meet? Oh, that's a very interesting story, isn't it, love? Yeah. Why don't you tell it? 
picture it. I'm on holiday in Paris, a little cafe in the Latin Quarter. Jason was sitting at a table reading Sarch. Was he now? Mm. Why don't you tell Barbara what you told me about Sarch? <laughs> I said he was in danger of overdoing it. Of course, holiday romances seldom last. Uh, just remind me, why are we doing this again? Bigger room, better view, and it's taken my mind off things very nicely. Yeah, three excellent reasons. Oh! What is it? I don't know, it's just my back. Oh, I shouldn't uh, have had you lugging furniture about all afternoon. It was very invigorating. Oh! Oh, well, am I ready for this? Hey, would you look at this? I'm worn out, your back's gone, and all we want in the world is a cup of tea. <laughs> That's uh, not all I want. Uh, I'm fairly content, really. I may not have the stamina that I used to have, but I've, uh, I'm fairly well off. I've, I've got reasonable health, and I've got some very dear friends. Oh, that's a good way of looking at things. So here's to... Uh, not old age. No. Maturity and friendship. Well, if you've known Jason that long, you must have met Mandy. What did you make of her? Oh, what a day, are you? Jason, what are you doing here? Well, since you couldn't come to me... No, I, I could have come to you. I just didn't want to. Will you go, please? Oh, Patrick, I know you're upset about Mandy. And it's not a subject I intend to raise. I want to let bygones be bygones. Nobody warned me she was coming here. We tried, but we couldn't get hold of you. Are you still here? I said, go! Please. I so want us to be friends again. Friends? You must be joking. Paddy? Bev, will you just stay out of this, please? You don't know her and you don't know what she's done to me. I am your mother. And whatever I've done to offend you in the past, you know I love you. Oh, I can't handle this. Can't I just stay one night? <laughs> oh, God. Too tired to argue. One word about Mandy and you're out. Not one word. I'm not even going to suggest that you could have saved yourself a lot of heart. I uh, introduced Auntie Barbara to my girlfriend, Bev, and she's met Tricia. Such a romantic story, how Jason met Beverly, isn't it? Is it? I came over to apologise about yesterday again. Did you find Adam attractive? That's your problem. You'll have to be careful, Jason. Patrick might steal your girlfriend. Well, if you did that, I'd have to uh, slot him out, wanna? <laughs> That's good. Very heterosexual. Sorry? Oh, nothing. It seems like you're the only one here who's unattached, Patrick. <laughs> We're not going to be awkward just because we're alone in the house. Alone at last. No, we are not going to be awkward. Good. Oh, by the way, thanks for all your help today. I really enjoyed it. Yes, so did I. Very, very much. <coughs> right. Night then. Diane. Yes. Wrong room. Good point. Just testing. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, for heaven's sake, what a pair we are. Very impulsive. Well, we're too old to behave like teenagers. Couldn't agree more. Good night, Alan. Hello! Oh, hello, darling. <laughs> Missed you! Oh, <laughs> <man>. <laughs> How's it going? <laughs> Nightmare. <laughs> oh, Marlon's had me worked off my feet. <laughs> but I just couldn't wait to get home to you. Uh, you want to go easy on her, Marlon? <laughs> <laughs> so do you. <laughs> Didn't think we'd be seeing you again tonight. Well, I just thought I'd walk Trisha home, you know, you can't be too careful. <laughs> I see. Very considerate. Oh, I think I'm ready for bed. Oh. I'm worn out. <laughs> Me too. Well, it's time I was off. I still want to talk to you. Yeah, whatever. Well, yeah, I'd best be getting back to back to our place. Hmm? Oh, yeah, our place. <laughs> right. <laughs> Night, all. <laughs> Trisha? Yeah? Nothing sleep well. Uh, Night. Night. Right, best be off then. 
See ya. Come on, Mom. Bye. Bye. I'm going to nip off to bed and all. Oh, but we've got a lot of catching up to do. I've hardly had a chance to talk to you. You're not going to get one either. Right. <sighs> Thanks for playing along like that. It was really good of you. It's all right. Tell you what, if you ever decide you like women, look me up. <laughs> what, well? That's, that's Joe and Trish's room, isn't it? Yeah. Don't it bother you? Two of them in the same bed. Oh, wow. Right, I'm, about, I'm about this far from running in there and getting her. Well, you know you can't do that. I know, I know. He's gay. He's not interested in women. Blah, blah, blah. What's your problem, then? Not so long ago, I thought Trisha were way out of my league. Never thought we'd be together. <laughs> thought it was a bit funny gawky mile and I could never keep a girlfriend. First time she kissed me, I... Like I was dreaming. I was the happiest man alive. Now look at us. She's up there. The jaw. And I meant to just... walk away. Well, I feel the same way about Joe. But I'm fine with this. So, please, Marlon, do it for us. Just, just walk away. <laughs>